What's good, uh, internet? My name is Attack Slug. Welcome back to Wrestling Empire on the Nintendo Switch. Your new AAW World Champion, managed by Vincent Kennedy McMahon, and I have a world title defense against Bam Bam Bigelow. I've beaten twice, so we'll see. Can I beat him a third time or a fourth time? I've forgotten already. I think it was a tag match there, right? I got three wins somehow, some way, but me and Vince in the building both have those great bouts. And yes, welcome to Thursday. If you are if you are watching this video uh, after the original date it aired, and you're wondering where is the next episode, tomorrow is the release of Retromania, and I'll be here on this channel playing Retromania starting tomorrow. But don't worry, we're not done with this game by a long shot. As long as it keeps adding updates, then there'll be more at some point down the line. But tomorrow begins episode one of Retromania. Career mode, etc. etc. So, I'm pleased to confirm that the watchful eye of Vince McMahon is in my corner. My rookie days are over. It's time to get serious. I'm the world champion. So yeah, we're getting serious, bro. Everybody knows uh, you can't cope on your own, slugger. I've been fine. Don't worry about it, Hebner. Uh, all the help in the world can't prevent you from losing me right now. We'll see. I've beaten you like three times, Bammer. Twice in singles and once in a tag team. Me and the boss man beat you in Luna Vashon. So that happened. Bam, bam. But... I had to put health into getting my stamina up to the proper level here because also demands from Vince, McM Vince on my stamina and that whole thing. I'm already a bloody mess. Already a bloody mess. Don't get DQ'd, Bammer. Don't get Claymored out of your freaking boots. I'll do that too. I'll go to the top and I'll fly and I'll miss. Okay, so Thursday. When it comes to... Things I usually discuss on Thursday, it's AEW NXT, because they, they aired on a Wednesday evening, blah, blah, blah. But, in this case, when it comes to Thursday, all I can really say is, well, what the hell? <laughs> what the actual hell? Paul White, a.k.a. The Big Nasty, a.k.a. The Big Show, a.k.a. The Giant, a.k.a. Andre's son, has signed with AEW. Which is really surprising for a guy who's been in WWE for 22-something years, right? You would have thought, he's a lifer after WCW. He's a lifer, and he's definitely going to be there forever. And go into the Hall of Fame, and then walk off into the sunset, and retire. But that is not the case, as he's going to AEW. Starting off on commentary on their new show, AEW Dark Elevation. Yes, indeed, Monday at 7 p.m., one hour before Raw goes on the air. And I'm going to lose here, so I'm going to get myself DQ'd and keep my belt, Bammer. I'm keeping my belt. Hebner, you watch very closely. Very closely, Heb. Oh, come on! He won't let me hit him with it, so I can't get DQ'd. That's hilarious, but I'm not losing. No! I'm not losing this matchup. Not happening. Bam, bam. You get in here and let me get DQ'd. Why can I not? There it is. There it is. Yeah. But I'm still the champion. So, I'm out of here. Me and Vince and my title are out of here. And still, world heavyweights champion. Bam, bam. Uh, uh, uh. Ain't happening. Bye bye I still made money even in losing, so I'm still up in the green there. Can't complain too much. AAW significantly more popular, and guess who's champion? That's right. Doink and Woodrow having a heated rivalry. Maple Leaf grappling under criticism with their ratings being down. Nash and Razor defeated Ray and Kidman to be the new tag team champions of Super Lucha Libre. Coach Emerson renewed his deal. It's an ironclad contract. He has 77. I'm at 77. So, and again, they keep canceling tapings here, which is not great. But hey, Vince, I followed your advice, and we're good now, right? You won't do it to me again in two weeks, right? Maybe. 
$1,000. So I lost, and I still made money, and I got a bonus. So can't complain. Sorry, Bam Bam. I'm still the champ. The champ is still here. What's happening now? Why am I having a non-title confrontation with Vincent Kennedy McMahon? This also happened with Umaga over in Weekend Warrior. So what is the deal, Vince? Like a test of strength? A test of grapefruits? I don't know. But look at that. I'm still the world champion. So it eels what it eels, Vinny Mac. No chance. Like, seriously, what the hell's going on? So, yes, AEW Dark Elevation, 7 p.m. on Mondays with the big show on commentary. Should be interesting. But also, he signed a deal to, to actually wrestle. Like, not just a commentary deal. He signed more than that. So, that's going to be curious. And certainly a big, no pun intended, contract there. But, man. Attack slug. I've been carrying you for so long. Literally one week, Vince. You were manager for one week. One week. It was literally one week, boss. You know, and now you're looking for a beatdown? So... You run this company. Uh, I don't understand. You begged me to be my, my manager, and you did it for a, a whole one week. And you were like, you know what? Nah. I'm good. I'm good. So, can I beat down Vince here? I guess I can. With a belt and a microphone. So, I've certainly seen some folks being like, man, people get all mad when WWE uses their old guys, and you should get the, the same amount of mad for AEW bring, bringing in more old stars and not pushing fresh talent. The difference is... When WWE brings in Goldberg, they put him in world title matches and have him win world titles. When they bring in Sting to AEW, he's in a tag team match with Darby Allin to elevate Darby and not win for their world title. There's a big difference there in how AEW handles these legends and how WWE handles their legends. I'm just saying, it's a difference. So I don't expect to see Paul White working for their world title in the next two weeks. Like, I don't see that happening. Whereas, they bring in Goldberg, guess what? World title. Like, come on now. It's a whole different thing. You can't treat it the same when AEW is not treating it the same. But, if they do that, then yes, they, they deserve all of the criticism for that. If they do the, the exact same thing. But I would, hope that t I would hope that Tony Khan a bit smarter than that. But again, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. But, uh, besides that, to me, uh, the way it looks on the surface, is that Big Show got himself into an amazing bit of shape for his age. Amazing shape, right? He got into such great shape because he was going to fight Shaq at WrestleMania. And that match didn't happen. Shaq bailed on it. And now Shaq is fighting Cody Rhodes in a mixed tag team match next week. And Big Show shows up and signs. Coincidence? Somehow I doubt that. So we'll see on that on Wednesday, the 3rd of March, with Shaq and Cody, Jade Cargill, and Velvet uh, on that. But Big Show. Because Big Show is going to be on Dynamite next week. They've already said that. So do we see a Shaq Big Show even backstage face-to-face? -face? Could that happen? Maybe. Molly Holly gained some weight. Drew Durham going to AAW. Just incredible. Said that he left. Strong style wrestling. And the promised tag team with Hooventude is happening. Who is tagging with the champ? Coco Beware. Alright, sure. That's fine. I can't 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 get too mad at it. Hold that, Sid. Hold that. That's right. I'm the main champion. You're the mid-card champion, Sid. No longer the master and the ruler of the world, Sid. So, Hooventude and Vincent Kennedy McMahon. Of course. Of course. So, I will say that the AEW Dark Elevation, which is going to be on YouTube, is not their promised 2021 second TV show on TNT. According to, according to Tony, that is still coming at some point this year, a second show on TNT. 
No word on what day that'll be on, and no word on how that affects Dark regular on Tuesdays in, in any way. And honestly, it's still just a lot. It's a lot, man. There's a lot of wrestling, and there's just not enough time in the day to watch it all, is what I'm saying to you. Is a lot. Uh, but, beyond that, some incoming video game news for AEW happening this evening at 7 p.m. Eastern. Another AEW Games broadcast. And if you recall the last broadcast, they told you, 60 days, you'll see that AEW Casino phone game, right? And March 7th will be that deadline. So having a show tonight to announce the date for that makes a lot of sense for that. So I would expect to see a date, if not today, uh, to say, hey, guess what? It's out now. Uh, would not surprise me for that casino game. Uh, but other news for their other games? Maybe for their GM mode phone game? Maybe for their console game? Pro probably not. Pro but we'll see. Uh, anything could happen. Uh, also in the news today, a happy 72nd birthday to the nature boy, Ric Flair. I will echo his daughter here and say, Rick, go home. Go home. But besides that, have a happy freaking birthday, man. Seriously. So, anyhow, Vince, duck and me. Uh, in terms of what happened of anything of importance last night on NXT and AEW, I will say that Cameron Grimes continues to be the best thing on NXT. He's amazing. So, Cameron Grimes as a dumb, rich guy trying to emulate Ted DiBiase was fantastic. He couldn't quite get it right, but he had the money. And it was, it was really good. It was really good. So, that was amazing. Uh, we did not get the proper explanation from... Adam Cole on what he was doing uh, attacking Kyle O'Reilly and guess what he also attacked Roderick Strong the era is over uh, but still didn't give a proper reasoning as to why we were all wondering why why Adam Cole why bay bay on the chair on the chair love to see it oh come on Hoovensude now over on AEW Archer qualified for that ladder match the Faith of Revolution ladder match happening. And that'll be a thing happening on their show on the 7th. Which is on a Sunday. Why is it on a Sunday? Like, I liked it on a Saturday. But hey, there is that. That's kind of it. Like, not much else to really discuss on those shows. I'm not going to sit here and run them down. Because it's not, not really worth doing today. Because obviously the big talk is still the big show. In terms of what, why, how, when. The word is that they weren't going to pay him enough, right? So, yeah, they were not using him. And, yeah, they weren't using him. And he got into great shape, and then they weren't using him. So, I can see being salty on that. You're getting into amazing shape. And, yeah, technically, Big Show was in the main event last year of Mania. After McIntyre beat Lesnar, uh, he beat Big Show. And that, that was actually on Raw, but technically it happened at WrestleMania. So, you know, there's that. Vince... Vince, oh, referee, no, Vince, 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 suplex on Vince, can I tap out the boss, is, nope, he rolls me up, he's too quick, too clever, he is uh, the business genius of Vincent Kennedy McMahon, but the, but the power on genius of a tax law, come on Vince, you ain't tagging out to no... Oops. Wrong button. To nobody. F5. Nope. I'm sorry. Not quite F5. Referee count it. One. Two. Three. And I beat Vince once again as Sid lurks in the background. The master and the ruler of the world. Yep. Sorry, Hoovy. Didn't even get tagged in. But hey, my belt is over here. I am Le Champion. Sid, that's your belt. Deal with it. That's right. Vince, I made quite a mess of the arena. I had fun out there beating you up and made quite a mess. Uh, pay $100 towards the damages to... what? This is new. This is definitely new. Sure, Vince, I have a lot of money, so take my hundo. Here's a fat stack for you. It's a pandemic. All right. Tone down the carnage in the future. 
We didn't even get that crazy. I'm pretty sure you were there. You should know. Mr. Perfect lost some weight. He is 201. You can put him on 205 Live. Becky Lane and Red Eye. So that is Mickey James and Red Eye. Gail Kim and Kylie Barry are our friends. Kenta Kabashi defeated Hugh Jazz is the new Universal Champion of Federation Online. Heckle Horn going to Rising Sun. I have creative control. That means I don't need whatever this hairstyle is. No. Get rid of the beard? No. I look super young there. That's not cool. No. It doesn't suit me. Keep my big old beard, please. This is how all the kids are doing it these days. Yeah, you would know, Vince. You're so in touch with the kids, right? I'm on a podcast again. Hey, Joe Rogan. I beat you up in Weekend Warriors. That happened. Uh, how many matches have I had in my career so far? It's been 30 episodes, or 31 episodes now. And if I'm averaging about three matches an episode, those are both close numbers. But, of course, I'm going to go with the funnier number, 69. Nice. Hey, I got it right. I got it right. That's cool. All right. Any other questions here, Mr. Podcaster? How many titles? I'm going to say three. I was champion in the school. I was champion in Weekend Warriors. And I was champion here in AAW. Three titles. I've held them. Mid-card and world. I don't forget my championships, Joe Rogan. That's more than you have. The name of, of my last opponent was either Vince or Juventude. So, not Becky Lane. It was Vincent Kennedy McMahon, the boss. That's the one. Go watch that match. I mean, you just did because it just happened literally on this video. But, okay. Thanks for your time. When can I get on the JBP? Get out of here, Joe Rogan, in your stupid Spotify deal. And look at that. Bam Bam is mad that I got DQ'd last time. He wants a proper match here with me. But that's not going to happen today and not this week because tomorrow, indeed, will be Retromania right here. Tune in for that. I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching. More videos. See you next time. And I'm out.